Hi everybody, this is James with Brain Candy Productions, and today we're going to go ahead and take our first look into Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm going to try to <clears throat> deconstruct and reconstruct my review of the anime. Hey, I thought it was funny. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about the first arc, or at least what I think is the first arc of the anime, which in my opinion is the first five episodes. The first episode in the arc really acts as little more than a refresher of the characters from the original 2003 anime of the first run of Full Metal Alchemist. The episode opens up the world of a mistress and the basic laws and uses of the magical based science of alchemy. I call it magical based because there really is no other way to explain what alchemy is without touching on the fact that it is not science or magic, but rather the art of deconstructing matter and reconfiguring matter using energy from the world around you, or in some cases, your own chi. The rest of the arc follows very closely to the 2003 run. However, with its faults, the first arc really does kick off the series and gives it an identity of its own by giving us a great mix of Drama tragia amity. Comedy with drama peppered with tragedy. First episode almost embodies this mashup of emotion by showing us the perspective of different characters in their situations. Although the first episode is technically filler, which is such a dirty word, it jam packs us with so much information that the series is very easy to follow. The second episode brings us to the beginning. All the comedy from the first episode is overshadowed by the absolute tragic event which can only be called the worst taboo that could ever be. We are reminded of the brothers past and the longing for their dead mother. Although this version of events has been aired before, it still hits so ridiculously hard it hurts hurts. This episode is the first of many punches to the gut that this series has to offer. Of course, this isn't the only focus of this episode. The town of Leor has a priest that is gathering brainwashed, loyal subjects to use in his diabolical plan. This plot is really just mentioned in this episode as more of a journey into the next episode. The first day depicts the folly of the Elric brothers and their rise to the military. After trying to resurrect their dead mother, Ed lost his left leg and Al lost his whole body. In this moment, Edward sees what can only be described as truth. While transported to the entity Truth, Ed learns the basis of alchemy and its much deeper truths. Edward no longer needs a transmutation circle to perform his alchemy. To save Al, he sacrifices his right arm to bind Al's soul to a suit of armor. The next three episodes depict the events in Leor, and the introduction of the homunculi, Dr. Show Tucker, and the nameless Ishvalan simply called Scar. The Leor episode is a great segue into giving us more insight to the homunculi and their motives. The episode is chock full of drama, humor, and conflict. The conversation between Rose and Ed is one of the highlights of the episode. So this is the almighty Leto. Welcome. Are you interested in Letoism? Nope. Can't say I am. Not really the religious type. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. To know God is to know hope. If we believe in divine grace, then through him all things are possible. 
If you believed, I'm sure Lita would bless you and make you grow taller. What's that supposed to mean? Easy, brother. She's just trying to help. <sighs> what about bringing the dead back to life? Do you believe that's possible too? Yes. Water, 35 liters. Carbon, 20 kilograms. Ammonia, 4 liters. Lime, 1.5 kilograms. Phosphorus, 800 grams. Salt, 250 grams. Saltpeter, 100 grams. And various other trace elements. Huh? That list represents the complete chemical makeup of the human body for the average adult. It's been calculated to the last microgram, but still, there's never been one reported case of successfully creating a human life. And you're telling me something modern science can't do, you can do with prayer? Lift thy voice to God, and the prayers of the faithful shall be answered. Did I mention all those ingredients I read off? Down at the market, a kid could buy every one of them for the spare change in his pocket. As it turns out, humans are pretty cheap. Oh, that's blasphemy. People are... we are all children of God, created in His image. <laughs> you have to understand, alchemists are scientists. We don't believe in unprovable concepts like creators or gods. We observe the physical laws that govern this world to try to learn the truth. It's ironic, really, that through the application of science, we have in many ways been given the power to play gods ourselves. So you're putting yourself on the same level as God? That's just sheer arrogance. You know, there's an old myth about a hero who flew on wings made of wax. He thought he could touch the sun, but when he got too close, his wings melted and he came crashing back down to Earth. Right, Al? Brother. It affirms Ed's feelings towards science and a higher power. The show has this really awesome dynamic with God versus science. If you want to learn more about the philosophy of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I suggest looking up the episode on it from Wisecrack on YouTube. It really is an awesome video. By the way, in no way am I endorsed by them, I just really like their work. The two episodes after this are some of the hardest to watch. The Sewing Life Alchemist Dr. Sho Tucker let the Elric brothers view his research in hopes to the brothers finding a way to get their bodies back. The episode leads to the discovery that the good doctor had performed experiments on his wife and daughter, turning them into human-animal hybrids, with the murder of Sho Tucker and his daughter Nina by the hands of Scar, the show gains a more jaded layer it did not have before. The first five episodes of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood are the basis of the story and have strong world building with rich lore. Although this isn't really the whole first arc of Brotherhood, I find that the evolution of the story beyond this point is so different that this, for me, is the first arc of the story. I hope you enjoyed my little review of the first five episodes of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Please let me know how you liked it by uh, liking and subscribing to my channel. And let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see in the future.